Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Oh my gosh, we're doing Sunhaven today for our community day. Um, I don't know who all is gonna join us, but I do have the Zoom open. So if anybody is listening in the chat and wants to play, instructions are in the Discord and all of that sort of thing to get in the Zoom and join us on voice chat. But voice chat is not required. If you wanna just play with us, you just need to be friends with me on Steam, um, which is really easy to do. Also information for that is in my Discord. Um, so yeah, we are going to be doing more of our multiplayer Sunhaven today. Uh, let me actually get the sound going on the game. I already have it opened. I already have it opened. Um, but let's get into it. Okay. Here we go. I, I redid a lot of stuff about the interface with the community day because I felt like, uh, things were taking up too much room. So you'll, you'll see, um, if anybody joins the Zoom kind of where that is placed now. But we're just going to go ahead and get it going. All right, yes, we're gonna host and we're gonna load up our demon. Here we go. Yeah, we're in spring 22, year one. So that's where we are in the game. That's where we are. What are you doing, Sunhaven? You can do it, I believe in you. There we go. Uh, so we made it. Oh yeah, we made it to the elf place last time. I remember, I remember. Okay, we're gonna have to, we have to go back, I think, to our regular place. Um, oh wait, we have acorn seeds. Okay, I need to make sure my time is set up. Okay, yeah, day speed 20 minutes. Because in my um, personal farm I was playing... Oh, we got the Explorer Snackoon. I was playing um, 40 minute days, but for streaming, no. Oh my gosh, it is such a wreck here. It is such a wreck. Okay, but I am supposed to plant these, so let's do that. I hope you guys are ready for some chill vibes today. Um, Cause Sunhaven is definitely like chill vibes. And I stand by the title. This game is so much better than Stardew Valley. If you've never seen it before and you like Stardew, you have to give it a try. Oh, that's only eight. I can't count. We've planted our seeds. Now we're ready. Okay, what's he have to say? Good show, Terry. I have to admit, I worked up quite a bit of sweat watching you. Ho ha. On behalf of all of us in Nelvari, please utilize this farm as you see fit. I look forward to what you make of this forest as you settle in. So interesting to see how someone outside of Nelvari farms. Terry is so quick. <laughs> quick? Okay. Uh, poor Wesley, he does not like me. Is everything all right, Wesley? Yes, Elder. Excellent. Then for now, I will leave you to get familiar with your new farm. Terry, I know you're eager to seek out Navaria, but do not fear. The Tree Guardian has already notified of your arrival. For now, you may focus on settling in. And wherever you are, please meet us at the top of the Grand Tree at the northern end of town. Wesley, of course, will be happy to receive you and show you the way of the world, Dragon. I don't think Wesley is very happy about this. I don't, I don't think he's actually happy to show me. Uh, Wesley, are you sure you're all right? Yes, Elder, I'm fine. Excellent. Again, and Terry, Lily can get you better acquainted with your new farm. As a matter of fact, she happens to know quite a lot about many things, such as farming, barn animals, mounts, creatures, crafts, arts, mining, fishing, capes, crossbows, medicine. Oh my fucking God, she knows everything. And even caterpillars. Oh, but for now, please take a few days to learn and experience your new home here in Novari. Wesley and I have much to do to help the world dragon prepare for your training. Come, Wesley, we have work to do. All right, yes. Uh, the voice acting is voice acting is back today if I'm playing solo. Wesley, why? I don't why okay, I have not gotten far enough in my solo farm. I don't why does he hate me so much? Uh yes, we need more we need more animal food. Okay, speak to Lily to learn more about your farm. Oh, she's over here. Alright, hi Lily. Terry! <laughs> I guess that's her voice. Let's check out your new farm. I would guess it's a little different from your farm back in Sunhaven, hmm? Um how do you know I'm from Sunhaven? The Sun Dragon told Navaria and the Elder that a friend from the town of Sunhaven would visit us. All I know about Sunhaven is that it's a human town, which means it must be pretty different from Navari. I mean, it's not that different. We have all kinds of peoples, too. But I guess it is mostly humans. Mostly humans. Not all humans. 
Where are we going? Like the elder said, the soil here in Navari is extra fertile, and we grow fantastic crops you won't find anywhere else. In fact, seeds from anywhere else won't even grow here. Why? The dirt of the forest is rich with mana energy. If you plant anything else here, the mana would practically drown it, just like if you watered it with too much water. But don't worry, there's still plenty of things you can grow, and all of them will be loaded with mana, which is great for growing lively things. Here, follow me. This is an alcove. The animals of the forest are all friends to Navari. It seems that if you grow a crop that a certain animal likes, then the animal will be attracted to one of the alcoves. The more you grow of their favorite crop, the more these animals will be attracted. Mm. So if you want lots of animals, grow lots of their favorite crop. Remember that not every crop attracts animals though, okay? Oh, and if you harvest the crop, the animals will run back to the forest. If you leave the crop in the ground, then the animals will stay. <sighs> How long to figure all of that out? <laughs> well, I, I tried a little bit of farming myself. I could never manage to get anything more than acorns to grow, but when I grew them, squirrels came to visit. Hmm, I'm excited to see what you might attract to the farm. Speaking of animals, though, you can also buy farm animals to live here. There's an elf in town that sells them. When you travel to town, just look for the elf in the funny hat and all the cute animals. You won't be able to miss them. Um, what about the big griffin? The griffin, I am not so sure of. He was here when we started getting the farm ready for you. Wesley tried to shoo him off, but the griffin didn't seem to notice. Griffins can be very stubborn, but he isn't in the way of anything, at least. Why are griffins so stubborn? I've heard tales the griffins are very proud. If you earn the favor of one, it will be a lifelong friend to you. Wesley sure tried everything, though, and the griffin never seemed to care. Maybe I'll get the its attention. Now that I'd like to see. Wesley was sure the griffin couldn't be moved, but I have a feeling you might prove him wrong about that. There's only one way to find out. Okay, so I think we have to befriend this griffin. Let's see. The griffin completely ignores your presence, save for a subtle glance. It seems it certainly recognizes you there. Okay, I have done this part in my personal game, so I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to bow. You give the griffin a deep bow, almost touching the tip of your head to the ground. You stand back up, though the griffin seems unconcerned with your show of respect. Um, we are gonna bow again. You give the griffin, yes, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's give him a smile? You flash a wide, happy smile. The griffin snorts at you. Maybe it thought you were being aggressive. At any rate, at least you got a reaction out of it. Okay, this is what we were looking for. Plucking a ripe berry from a nearby tree, you offer it to the griffin. The griffin snips at the berry with interests, but seems reluctant to actually take it. Um, we're gonna do this. You bow your head and look at the ground. Though you cannot see the griffin, after a few tentative movements, you finally feel it gently pluck the berry from your hand. Yeah, so you have to feed it. <sighs> Lily gasps quietly in amazement as the griffin chews the berry, eating it. You raise your head and meet the gaze of the griffin, who's now looking at you with a clear degree of acknowledgement. Well, Terry, it turns out the trick to winning over at the griffin is being respectable to it. Someone should let Wesley know. Hmm, or maybe it just likes berries? <laughs> I think maybe it is both, Lily. <laughs> it looks like the griffin actually acknowledges your presence now, though. I wonder if you managed to make a friend. I'm glad I won its affection. Okay, we did it. Hey, it's a crafting table. Yes, so you get special, you get special crafting table. Okay. Um, we want mana orbs, of course. Yes, because that's money here. All right. Um, two days to settle into Novari and prepare for our meeting. All right, so I don't really care about this right now. Um, I can't fly back? I guess after you have to do it after the two days. I don't know, but after the two days, you can travel back and forth via the griffin. So I don't know why it doesn't let me do it now. Mm, let's see. Gorwin mentioned you have lots of hobbies. Uh, what kinds of things? Everything. Uh, how do you stay so cheerful? That's a lovely perspective. Okay, yay, Lily likes me. I really, d I didn't want to be here for two days though. Um, is there a calendar? Oh, it's 9 p.m. already, holy crap. Can I just walk back? Is that okay to do? Oh, 
Oh gosh, that's right. These things are like so strong. <laughs> run, run. I do not want to fight you. If I'm by myself, I definitely need better weapons and armor. Okay. This way. Whoa, an elite. Oh, and it's late. Run, run! I made it! I think we can make it. We've got this. There we go. Don't mess with me, caterpillar. You either, leafies. Oh my gosh. Everything trying to kill me. What'd I ever do to you guys? Oh yeah, it's the injured guy. I have to find the doctor at some point. Or somehow, like, tell him how to go help that guy? I don't even know. It didn't like it. It doesn't give me a quest or anything, so... Oh yeah, we have all these blue roses. Um, we don't need all of them. We just need the ones that are like around the... Yeah, very carefully. Ah, dang it. I did not mean to do that. Hopefully it will still make honey, even though it's missing one. Oh, it's 11.30. I need to sleep. But I did make it back. Yes, I would like to sleep. Okay. What was I doing in this farm? Oh, we have lots to harvest. Okay, well. Um, oh, I do need one of these for the Hall of Culture, though. Oh, that's not what I meant to press. Um, what's the button? I just want one. Oh, you just right click. Okay. Snackoons can play together. Okay, I think we had the kale and lettuce for the snackoon that's over here. I don't think we had done that one yet, but I gotta go feed the animals first. pet everybody? Not this one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna see if any of these went in the, um, if any of those go in the museum, but... No, so, okay. Let's go try to give this snackoon. Did our... Yeah, Catherine has a quest for us. Catherine, what's up? How's it going, girl? Oh, it's too early. She's sleeping. Okay.
I guess I didn't do the weekly things yesterday. We'll do that too. Whee! Give me mana! Okay, there is a snackoon down here that I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't do this one. Okay. Give it some kale. Give it some lettuce. Now I get my snackoon. And this is how I learned how you're supposed to do the flowers for the honey. If you come down here to this little bunny rabbit orchard, see how they have them? That's how you're supposed to do them. And that's how I did them in my game. We're gonna have to get a jam maker at some point, it seems. Okay, there's one more weekly thing over here. I can't remember if in our community game if we cleared this yet. Oh yeah, we have not cleared him. Okay. What do you need, Mr. Snackoon? Well, he needs, he needs, okay, he needs the bananas and the green pepper flakes. Yeah, so we'll have to fight monsters for that. My bags are really full. I think I need to go, I need to go sell stuff and empty my bags, I think. So let's go back to our farm and do that real quick. Cause I want to go in the mines. Um, I have all like, I need more iron stuff. I have copper, like everything. I have iron sword, iron watering can, but I need iron. Oh, there's Catherine. Hello, you have a quest for me, friend. Why do you need a farmer? Sure, what do I need to do? Okay. She wants me to plant cinnaberries with fire fertilizer. We can do that. to put stuff away. <sighs> oh, this is seeds and things, okay. Mm, I should have put the Novari stuff in the Novari. <laughs> I should have, I should have, but I did not do that, okay. Why do we have so many choco berries? This is farming stuff. Okay. Oh. Um, I guess I can just put these things here, even though they really match with Nelvari. This can go there, this can go there. This can go there. Oh, that's ocean items. Oh, these are food items. Okay. Well, I guess these can go here. Or, you know, I could just sell them. I do need money, honey. Okay. 
this can go in here. Here, the snackoon can sit in the snackoon line. There you go. I do not know why I have so many choco berries. I guess those can go in the chest too. No, this one. There we go. Okay. Um Oh, I do have some um some of the pepper flakes. Don't have any bananas though. I have no idea if I need keys. Um, okay. But I can do this. Make some bars. Okay. Okay, let's head into the mine and see and see what's up there. See how that's going for the community farm. to kill things. What's up, girl? I didn't hear anything. Okay. Oh, that didn't get me hearts. Well, I've got three hearts with her now. Oh, good. Okay, so we did make it through there, and we need we need iron keys. So I need I definitely need iron for both keys and to make more iron stuff. Die, pig bat. Thank you. I love the click clack sound effect of mining in this game. It's very ASMR soothing. Hmm? Oh my co- I have iron sword, but my combat's not high enough. Oh no. That's not good. I'll have to fix that. Good thing I can use my crossbow. I forgot that these things are level locked too. Okay. Uh, this one. So I guess since we don't have iron keys, I'll just walk backwards. I did not, I don't remember seeing any iron keys in my chests, so I don't think I have any. Okay, we'll just go backwards like this. Oh, lots of iron here, good. This is not, um, this is not conducive. Okay. Um, 
So we should do farming tools. And then the axe and then my mining. And then, okay. And then my fighting tools. There's lots of copper over there as well. Nice. Before I get the spell to explode everything. Oh, well, I gotta level up. Okay. Oh, it's soon. It's soon. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need extra ores. Extra ores. Yes. And next level up, I get the explosion. Very useful, important spell. Hello, how's it going? Hard at work, I hope. Yes, I am I am literally in the mines. Um, the children yearn for the mines. That's where I am right now. How are you today, Jane? Are you feeling any better? Okay, this was a very good floor to come to. Lots better, but I still need like a six hour nap. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. That is a, that is a crappy feeling. I, I hate fatigue as a symptom. It's like my, it's like the most annoying symptom, I think. Uh, Cause I already kind of sleep a lot anyway. Like if, if I can, I will sleep like eight hours and or plus in a night, like eight or nine hours, like fully. Um, I'm not somebody that can get by on like six hours of sleep or whatever. So I already sleep a lot. And so when I have fatigue, of course, then I'm sleeping like extra. And so it's just annoying. Oh, I, where did you come from? Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay. What the heck? I'm trying to talk to my friend Jane here about fatigue. And you're just like popping out of nowhere. Trying to ruin my day. What did I do to deserve this? I'm just here in your mind, mining your ore. I don't want you, just your rocks. Oh. I hate how you can't tell which ones of these you have to jump for and which ones you can just walk for. I wish it was more clear. Because some of these you don't have to jump, you just have to walk across. Oh my gosh, why isn't it? I wish you could auto your primes. I wish that was something you could do. But thank you, thank you so much for your prime sub. I absolutely love it when you make Jeff Bezos spend his money on, on me. Um, let's see, can I pause multiplayer? Can I can I pause multiplayer? Because we, we have a new thing that we're doing, Jane. Whenever people sub or we spin the wheel. So I need to do that for you, but I don't think I can pause this game. So let me see, let me see if I can. And we'll spin the wheel for you. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, hang on, can I pause? Mm. Since no one is in here with me, I think if I just open this, it'll pause. Because I have paused during die. Oh no, it just it just flipped over to 340. What if I don't do run in background? Turn that off. Yeah, they, I can't pause it. <laughs> okay, well, when we um, when we sleep, when we sleep, Jane, I will uh, do a wheel for you. Oh, since I actually don't have anybody in here yet today, I can show you guys a cool trick so that you can spend more time in the mines. 
Um, oh, yes, combat, level up. One more level and I can use my iron sword. Don't worry about it right now. Oh, thank you, Jane. We're gonna do it in a second, though. Okay, um... Oh, combat, combat. Okay, what do I want? Extra armor, restore health. Uh, no, I don't care about that. I already have all this. We're gonna do, we're gonna do restore health. I want some Regan. Look, my health is low right now. I need to eat something. Let's eat this trail mix. It's probably because I keep falling in the water. That's the only reason. Like that. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show this in like just a minute. I need it to get to eleven thirty. So you see I'm in here, you think like, oh gosh, there's definitely not enough time to get back home. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, watch this. If you're playing by yourself, this is all you have to do. Because remember this game auto saves. Exit. Okay, exit. We're gonna go launch it again. Load up Terry. Watch him. He he got powers. He got powers. And you have this power too. Okay, everybody has this power. Watch. <gasps> I teleport. I am home. And it's 11 o'clock now. What? Oh my, I time traveled and I teleported. What the hecky? So yeah, you can do this. You can do this. All right, we need to make more bars. Hello. Um, oh, we definitely need more coal or more. What is this? Yeah, more coal. Let's make some coal as well. We have lots of wood at the moment, so we can make a few more coal. Okay, I'm gonna let that run. Um, oh, not construction table. I want the anvil. We need iron shit. Okay, we can make an iron axe. Not quite an iron pickaxe yet, but an iron axe would be very freaking helpful. So we're going to make that. And then we're going to run. We're going to run like the wind and hopefully make it in the 10 minutes. <gasps> run, run, run into the bed. Yes. I made it. Pro gamer shit right there. That's some pro gamer shit. Okay, no night events. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's pause, go back to the game. Thank you, thank you. So long as prime subs still exist, right? <laughs> that's, that's the problem. I hope they never take away prime subs. I am nervous that one day they will. Okay, I know I have more to do in Nelvari, but like, I really, I have more to do here. I have stuff to do. Because I really need to fix this situation with my weapons and stuff. Ruby can go there. Um, what's we got? I know I don't have to like keep this stuff, like this medallion or whatever. It says you may discard this item, but I just, why would I do that? Why would I do that? I would never do that. I want to keep it forever. All right, let's sell things. This one, this one. Yeah, that, okay. I need to put those in some bundles. Yes, my ax is ready. Give me iron. Okay. All right, so that's still going. I really need the iron pickaxe, so we'll see if I have enough for that shortly. Is 
besides any of this stuff needed at the museum? Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's go stop at the museum and then we're gonna mine some more. Because if I have all iron stuff, um, it'll be so much easier to progress other things in this game. So I really think that's what we need to do next. Wait, what was I doing first? Oh yeah, museum. Oh my gosh. Threshold problem. Threshold problem. Jane, do you want to hear something gross? If you're still here, I'll tell you a gross story. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Of course. Okay. So, I have been having some um, embarrassing problems since uh, going on the cruise. And I thought it was just like cruise food, right? This is what I thought. I thought like, oh, well, it's rich cruise food. That's why I'm having these problems. Um, it's gonna go away when I get back from the cruise. Well, as you know, that cruise was like freaking a month ago. So I'm going on week four this week of embarrassing problem. Yeah, it was super five ever ago. So I'm going on week four of this problem. And I finally am like, I've had enough. This is ridiculous. I'm going to call my doctor. Okay. So I call my doctor. I tell her what's going on. And I tell her, like, I have been having this problem. Um, you know, as Beavis and Butthead would say, diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. And so I tell her, like, it's been going on for this long. Like, it doesn't seem to matter what I do with my diet. Like, I tell her all the different things I've tried with foods and things like that. And they're like, okay, we need a sam sample. Have you ever had to give a stool sample? It's the worst. They give you this bucket. They give you this bucket that you like, has like little ledges on it that you put over a um, over your toilet and like put the seat down so that it stays. You would think this big old bucket would not be hard to aim into, but it is actually because you cannot get any pee in the bucket. Okay, you cannot get any pee in the bucket. That is illegal. It will ruin your sample or something. I don't know, but you can't do that. So it's very difficult. So I managed to get the sample. By the way, I have no other symptoms. It is just the one symptom. That's all I have, nothing else, okay? Um, so I have, I have this uh, symptom. So this was on like Wednesday or something, Wednesday or something. And, um, and I, give, I give the lab the samples on my way to work Wednesday, okay? So they have this app called um, my chart I think it is or something like that anyway where you can get your doctor updates and stuff like just automatically so I had to put the sample in like four different jars right so three of them had like liquid in them so I assume those are specific tests and then one had no liquid so I don't know if that was just extra or something whatever so like the first two tests come back negative um, one of them here, I can actually pull it up on my phone and I can tell you what the tests are. And I don't really know much about this stuff, so like, I don't really know what, what this means. Wait, I have to log in. There we go. So, test results. The first one is called C. difficile toxin AB. C. difficile toxin AB. It's apparently some kind of like bacteria virus something that causes um, a, like irritable bowel syndrome, colitis, whatever. Okay, that comes back negative. They post that like immediately. Like that I see like the same day. There's another one, fecal lactoferrin. I don't know what that is, but apparently um, mine is high, whatever that means. And um, this is apparently normal for breastfeeding babies, which I am not. So I don't know what this means, but I, I Google around and I'm not really finding anything about this being meaningful for like, what the heck is wrong with me? Were you poisoned? <laughs> well, Jane, it's funny you ask because I'm waiting, 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 because I know there's at least one other test result to be posted, right? There's at least one other test result to be posted. So I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting for, for this test result to be posted. And, um, and it's like silence. It's like totally silence for this, um, I thought this was gonna unlock. I guess I need more points. 
Um, so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for this test result. I know there's going to be another one. I don't know what the tests are because whenever they gave me the whole thing to get the sample and everything, they gave me this pack of paper and it was like, it was like this thick. It was like 10 pieces of paper. Do you think I read that? No, that was too many pages. I absolutely did not read it. That packet probably would have told me what all tests they were going to do. I didn't read it. Who, I would never read that. That's too many pages. I'm busy. Okay. So I didn't read it. So I'm like in the dark, in the dark. I don't know what's going on. Finally, on like late on Friday, I think it was, or maybe Thursday. Anyway, it felt like it was forever. And um, they finally post the last test. And all I can see in there is the name of the test because when I open it up, it says that the clinician still hasn't reviewed. So that makes me think, whatever this is, they have found something. Well, this has um, words I can understand in it. So it is called uh, ova and parasite screen, eggs and worms. Okay, that's 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 what this test is. It's eggs and worms. So I assume that's what I have because it says the clinician needs to review. It does not say negative or positive explicitly. So for today, you guys can call me Leto. You can call me Leto because I am becoming the God King of Arrakis, and I am on the golden path, apparently. That's what's happening. That's why it's been going on. It has nothing to do with food. It has nothing to do with anything. And um, so, so yeah, uh, I, I am, I'm becoming Leto today. So, uh, so you may address me as God King. Um, that's my title until I find out more information. Um, hopefully I will not be on the golden path long. Hopefully humanity will come and smite me down and, uh, and I can go back to living my normal life. <laughs> but that's what happened. That's what happened. Um, I'll let y'all know more when I know more. I still really don't know other than, uh, the clinician needs to review this test, whatever the heck that means. I assume it means I'm positive for something. Um, that this test detects, which is eggs and worms. That's what it detects. I'm so itchy just thinking about this. <laughs> well, luckily, itching is not one of my symptoms. Itching is not one of my symptoms. So, you know, it could be worse. Uh, hence why it, it took me all the way to week four of this happening to call a doctor about it. Um, even though I obviously should have done that right after the cruise uh, when it didn't clear up in like a day. So yeah, which cruise line are we suing, dude, brah? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't remember exactly what day it started, if it was like the very first day of the cruise or the second day of the cruise or whatever. So it could be the cruise. It could be the restaurant that we ate at bef the night before the cruise just as easily. I do not know, okay? I do not know. All I know is um, the, the eggs of something don't know don't know what but this is basically how you contract any of these um that this test could be for and this is what google told me so like take it with a grain of salt but anyways what google told me is the eggs were on something that i ate and i ate the eggs and the eggs hatched that's what happened so yeah dang get that bag though girl i can't even i can't prove nothing so i have no clue i have no clue but uh, yeah, I don't know if it was the cruise line. I don't know if it was the restaurant we ate beforehand. All I know is I'm the only one that had this, okay? There were four other people. So there was five of us on that cruise. There was four other people, including myself. They don't got this issue. They're fine. They are, they are, they are not becoming god kings of Arrakis like I am right now, being tortured on the golden path. No, just me. Okay, just me. Um... Yeah, they do not have thumbs, Michael. Just me. So, um, I don't know. What's a third What's a third pop culture reference I could make a joke with? I, all I, this, those two, I think. I don't know. Um, so, I guess, I guess I, I'm finding out the truth. Here's another one. I guess I'm finding out the truth. Um, my husband will still love me if I become a worm. Um, because I am. And, uh, and he do. So, I think we're all good there. Hot shot. Yes, I want that. Now we have flaming arrows. <laughs> Why would you say that? He from... <laughs> He's in the other room going, I would not still love a worm. 
I think he's being specious personally. <laughs> oh, you guys. So yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. It's gross, but that's the deal. Jane, if I knew who to sue, I would. But I don't, so I won't. Yeah, I have no idea. As long as it isn't face huggers, you can still hang out. Well, I don't know, Jane. It might be. It might be. It says a clinician still has to look. I don't know what all different kind of things this tests for. I don't have a list. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea. All I have is Mr. Google Scholar, okay? That's all I have. So I do not know. There could be many such things. Um, it might be a big problem. We'll have to find out when the doctor looks at it. Are you Neo by chance? I could be. You never know. Maybe this is a Matrix thing. Maybe, um, maybe I don't remember Mr. Smith putting a worm in my ear. I mean, it could happen, you know, definitely to me. And that would explain why, you know, it didn't affect anybody else, even though we all ate at the same places. So, could be. Because you might want to find the right white rabbit. I have seen no rabbits, okay? I've seen zero rabbits in this, this month. So, um, if I come across one, though, I will be wary. Um, I'll check it out. I'll follow if, if I do. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, my skills. Mining! Um... Let's get bonus gold. Thanks for saving me that 1350 on lunch. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You can wait to eat now. Uh, you don't have to bother <laughs> with a meal at the moment. <laughs> but no, I legit just thought it was something I ate or it was absolutely nothing or whatever. Like, seriously, it is not that bad. Um, it's not that bad. Like, I truly, I truly thought it was like it would go away on its own because it was not that serious. And the only reason I called the doctor at all is because it was lasting so long and I thought that was weird. But yeah, hopefully I'll be fine soon. Hopefully they'll prescribe me something and it'll be all good. I love how my follow reminder pops up right now. Yeah, if you if you liked my my gross story about becoming Leto, the God, God King of Arrakis, um, then please uh, follow. Follow for more movie references. Well, I guess they've never gotten far enough in in movies for that part of Dune, but you know. The only reason I was thinking about it is because the movie's out. I haven't seen part two, by the way. Only part one. I really, I was really not that impressed with it, so I don't know if I'll watch part two, but apparently part two is like amazing or something. I don't know. The internet says it's phenomenal. So I'll probably watch it eventually when it comes out on streaming. Maybe. How much? Okay, I've got a little bit of coal. How much iron did I pick up? Oh, it's down here. 23 irons. Okay. Good, good, good. We're on our way. Once we fill out, once we kit out our um, all of our stuff. Did I ever make armor? Okay, yes, I do have armor. Once we kit out all of our stuff with um, with iron weapons and tools and shit, um, then I'll make some iron keys so we can progress farther. I have no idea if this is optimal, by the way. So if anybody watching is like an actual experienced Sunhaven player, is it optimal to get farther in the mines before you really do much with um with the two other towns? Or like, should I not be ignoring Nelvari right now <laughs> and actually finish the Nelvari opening quest? Like, tell me, because I don't know. Oh my gosh, hello dragon! Oh my gosh, every time, every time you're here, I'm so excited. Wait, died slug! I have to read dragon's message! Okay, there we go. 
Um, for her birthday, I took my wife to an orchard and we stood there looking at the trees for half an hour. Not an Apple Watch. She was expecting, apparently. Wow, I love you. <laughs> I can always count on you for the fantastic puns. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. I know um, I know you can't come by all the time, Dragon, but every time you do, it's such a treat. Uh, so so I love it. It's like, it's like a little surprise every time we get to hang out with Dragon for a bit. Oh, Lunar, you're okay. You haven't missed it. If you want to join me, everything's still open. You totally can. Um, Jane was not feeling well today either, so I'm actually by myself at the moment. Um, but if you would like to play, everything is open. I'd be more than happy to invite you in. You just let me know what you want, friend. There is a, there is no pressure either way, okay? I <laughs> love you too. Thank you, Dragon. Dragon, would you still watch my streams if I was a worm? Okay, it's getting late. Let's mine this copper and then um, we'll do the little trick. Of course, you'd be a very entertaining worm. Thank you. I think I would be too. I think you'd make a cooler worm. Yeah, probably. I think I'd be a badass worm. Okay, let's host. Yes. I think I would be, right? Like, I would just be so cool. Oh my gosh, tap with the first. Yeah, nobody had redeemed first today. Um, sometimes it be like that. Congratulations. A hoard of stories and writing? Probably. If I was a dragon, I would have to hoard stories. I don't know how I would do that, though. Like, here's the problem with me. I don't like a lot of stuff. The only, like, stuff that I have is, like, things where, like, I, I feel like I have to collect them to, um to be able to use them. Like I have like a lot of nail polish, you know, cause I need lots of different colors. Um, but like books, I am happy with doing um, audiobooks and, uh, and eBooks and things of that nature. So like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I have hordes inside my phone. Uh, okay, we cannot do an iron pickaxe yet. We need more iron. Uh, okay. Okay, we have a long queue there. Long, long queue. Jane, you are not new to the stream. What the heck? Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. Get in the mushroom bed. Get in the mushroom bed. Yes, I would like to sleep. Thank you. Okay. Ah, that was almost a disaster. Um, son of a butternut tap got first. True. I didn't even look. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tap's just that good at Twitch. Let me wake up. Okay, okay. You're good. You've got plenty of time. We're only an hour in to stream. I think I picked up this game on a whim, but never got super far into it. Dragon. Dragon. If you like Stardew at all, do yourself a favor and play this game. It is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and monthly, we do this, this multiplayer stream. So you're welcome um, anytime we're doing this to play with me. I have this as well, but I don't think I've played it. Fix it, y'all. Both of y'all, fix that. Fix that this weekend. Play a little bit of it. It's so addicting. It's like, it's Stardew, but it's a real RPG. Like, and I know that you're like, but Stardew's, and no. Stardew's not an RPG the way this is an RPG. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. Like, I don't even, how do I even begin to explain how good this game is? I, I just, it's so good. The characters are amazing. Everybody, like, it's just... I love it so much. Okay, what do we have? We have six iron bars. Okay. I do own Stardew, but I think I got a week into that as well. This is so much better than Stardew. This, if you are somebody that loves RPGs and Stardew didn't quite grab you, but you, you like the idea of Stardew, this is the one that might grab you. Okay. This one. This is this one. Oh, we have enough iron bars now. Yay. I can make, I can make my, um... Scroll, scroll, scroll. I can make my iron pickaxe. Yes. I think I played a little while when it was super early access. Yes, there are so many more features now. So many more features. Um, I've never heard you talk so highly of it before. I had no idea you love it. Yeah, I love it. Another suggestion for you to introduce be Core Keeper. It's a new RPG do. Oh, okay. I'll look into it. 
I do love the crafting survive games, but the story confuses me. Like, I like crafting to survive games too, but like, I get bored of them very quickly. Um, they like lose my interest. But this one, because there's an actual like plot and stuff, um, I do not get bored at all. Okay, can I give me the honey? Yeah, it's not gonna make more honey because because <sighs> I messed up. Because I messed up and harvested, but that's okay because I actually don't want all the blue roses planted here anyways, so we'll have to fix this. Um, I don't think I can harvest these without wrecking it, but we're going to have to wreck that other... Oh wait, haha. -ha. I did that. Haha, -ha. okay, there's, so there's just one that's messed up. I feel the same way on plot. I think that's why I got sucked into and shrouded. Oh, is it like that where it's like a, um, a crafting game, but with, uh, but with plot? Cause like, okay, like um, Pal World. I loved it, but because there's not really much plot to it right now, I uh, I'm, I struggle with kind of like having any interest beyond the um, kind of the main like get the four towers thing. Is so it's kind of like even though there's so much more um, game to it, I'm like eh, you know what I mean. So whereas like pe some people can like sink hours and hours and hours into Power World, but until they add a bit more plot, I, I, I can't really play it too much, you know? It's not that interesting to me. Um, I want it to be, but you know. Okay, so I think the hoe is the only thing I still have left to upgrade, because we're upgrading the pickaxe right now. I played a good power world, even the building wasn't great, true. I think, I think it could use some polish, but one thing about Power World is that the, the gameplay loop that it has is so good that um, I think with some more polish, it's going to be a truly excellent game that I really can spend hours and hours and hours um, playing for a long period of time. It's just not quite there yet. It's just not quite there yet. I've been playing Unicorn Overlord and Remnant 2. Oh yeah, my husband's been playing some Unicorn Overlord. I've seen some of that. With the name like Unicorn Overlord, I had completely different expectations for what that game would be. Oh no, dang it, it's in the water. Um, so I was a little disappointed <laughs> that it wasn't uh, what I thought it was going to be. But it still looked like it was a pretty good game. You know? Okay, let's water some of my friend's crops. I don't know who planted all of these. But, uh, but we'll water them. Thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. We love our lurkers here. I have Remnant 2. I still have a few things to unlock. My friends left me. Oh, <laughs> oh poor dragon. The the joys and the pains of playing uh, multiplayer is just that. Uh, thank you so much for the hydrate tap. Yes. <sighs> tap, I have a question. Does, does any of the other like elixir peoples, do they still stream? I feel like most of them don't stream anymore. Is that true? I see you every once in a while on there, but um, but I don't really see most of the others. Am I just out of the loop because I, I haven't participated in that server in a long time or what? I've been playing co-op with my wife on stream. Oh, nice. Yeah, friend group's obsession is now Star Citizen and Helldivers 2. Helldivers 2 looks fun as hell. It's not my type of game, but I love watching it. And it's just so... <laughs> It's just so silly. It's so silly. The like the how over the top it is um, cracks me up. And the finals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Helldivers 2 um, is hella fun to watch. Most of the Elixir folks don't stream anymore now. I will come back from pandemic things. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Like it's just it's not the vibe anymore. You know, people are doing people are doing real life. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Um, real life, ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but, um, but that makes sense. Um, oh, iron bars, okay. Uh, there's my pickaxe. Okay, we can go back in the mine. Come here, pickaxe. There we go. I need to rejoin your Discord soon. I quit a bunch of reason 
I quit for a bunch of reasons, but now getting back into vibing with folks. Oh yeah, yeah. You're welcome to come and go, by the way, Dragon. Like there's no shame in that. I totally get it. And I don't feel like any sort of way about that kind of thing. Like when it comes to, to you guys, like internet friends and things like that, like it's open door in my opinion. You know, if you need to go take care of stuff or like the internet's not working good for you anymore, then um, I fully support like taking a break and coming back later. You know what I mean? What is this? Oh, it's a shop. It's just the shop. Okay. Um, oh, thank you. I don't stream nearly as much as I used to. I used to miss the full-time talking trash and dying, but Bill's true. Yeah. And it's just different. You know, it's different um, when there's not a lockdown because like during COVID, it wasn't like you had other choices. And now there's other choices. So people choose other things, you know, so it's just different. It's just different. All right, we need more iron. Make our shit. So we need to make the iron hoe and then we can start making iron keys so we can progress down farther in the mine. But yeah, Tap, I've totally changed direction because like things are just so different on Twitch now. And I started out as a, like a variety streamer and you could do that back then. But now it's like you have to niche down or whatever. So I've totally niched down. Um, we still have community days once a month, and I still do my podcast like once or twice a month. But if we're not doing those two things, then um, I am a Final Fantasy completionist streamer now. And like I'm 100% I'm on that. Like we play Final Fantasy games 100% um, or close to 100% like playthroughs of them. And that's like, and that's what I've chosen. I don't know if it's a good one. Like I might have chosen poorly, but like I actually like have a niche now. I know I never really used to have to do that. But uh, but now it's like if I feel like I, I need to or I'm just like streaming to no one. <laughs> um, not that you guys are no one, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You have to constantly have like fresh people coming in every once in a while because people get busy. You know, if you don't have new people coming in every so often, then everything kind of dies. Just like running a role play. Like you can't ever, you can't like completely stop recruiting or stop adding new characters. Because if you stagnate on the characters and people that exist in your role play, then the role play just dies a slow death. It's the same thing here. Yeah, you need a niche. I need to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. And it took me a while to kind of come to terms with like the fact that like, oh, I actually have to pick a niche now. Because like, I really, you didn't, you didn't in 2020 and 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eminem. Hello. How's it going, friend? We were just talking about niches. Eminem, I know, came from um, me playing Sims 2 a lot, but, uh, but we're not, that's not our niche anymore. You know what I mean? So I do apologize for that. I would prefer to be a variety streamer if I felt like that was realistic and I could do it, you know, but you just can't anymore. You just can't. How are you doing this weekend, by the way, Eminem? Are you doing well? Having a good weekend? Okay, lots of copper and stuff on this floor, so that's good. I feel like what's going to happen to me on this um, farm is the same thing that happened in my regular playthrough where I, I got to a point where I just really needed a lot of coal and I, I couldn't really farm it that well. I don't know. Um, what the best way to farm coal is in this game, but I can feel it, it's gonna happen again. I really need that voluminous spell. Okay, oh, I can get it now. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, yes, give me that. Give me that shit. Boom. Alright. Let's, um, let's cast it. Watch this shit. Boom! So cool. All the rocks are mine. I just blew them all up. Okay, that should make things a much easier. I am the bomb, the bomb.com. Okay, like, let's blow this shit up. Hello. Do I not have enough mana? I don't have enough mana. Good thing I have this honey. 
Okay, there we go. I need more mana. Oh, love it. In my solo game, what I was doing to farm coal was like, once I got that spell, is um just coming in here with things that restore mana and like just casting that on these lower levels. I don't know if that's right though. I don't know if that's what like the best way, but that's how I was doing it. It didn't feel like it was that fast, so I don't know. It still might, it might be the fastest. It might just be hard to farm coal, but I have no idea. Call you Michael Bay because you blowing things up. Hell yeah. Give me some uh, helicopters at sunset. <laughs> we love them. All right, combat. Yes, more fire arrows. I'm a killing machine. How much mana does this take? Oh, it takes 40 mana? Holy cannoli. Okay. Do I have any regen? I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I do have... I am regaining mana a little bit. So I have some regen on my mana and my health for this character. All right, time to hop. That was a good jump. Oh, but there's like nothing over here. Bitch, get on that rock. Thank you so much for coming by, Tap, and thank you so much for hanging out with the Lurk. We love our Lurkers here. It's very, very helpful. Like, you might not, um, it might not always feel like it, but the, the, the Lurking is what, make Twitch, what, what makes Twitch go round. Had a nap earlier. I think I napped harder than I've ever slept. Why does naps feel like that sometimes? Like, you take a nap and you wake up and you feel like you've slept for 10 days. Like, you feel so, like, heavy and, and hard. And, like, just... Just, like, whoa. Like, it's another dimension now. Like, you traveled to the nap dimension and now you're back. It's true, though. When you go nap, you go to the nap dimension. <clears throat> All right, need the iron on this level. Okay, this is a good little alcove getting some iron. Oh, it makes it cost less mana. Okay. So I need to level this up. Oh, exploration level. Um, what have we got here? Oh, restores health and mana for... Okay. Oh, Venture's Cookbook, we need that. Oh, and the money. We really need this. Community tokens. Anyone would say, anyone says the world dimension, it, I can't read. Let me try that again. I'm gonna do this jumping puzzle and then I'll read it. Reading is hard, you guys. Oh my gosh. There we go. Anyone says the word dimension, it makes me think of this clip I saw where a guy's playing Morrowind as a quest for a guy. They say some passive dialogue, like move along scum. The streamer then says, be gone to the ranch dimension and uses the console commands to disable the NPC. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. He shouldn't have called the players scum. That NPC deserved it. NPCs need to be nice. They need to know their place. You know what I'm saying? If they're going to say some shit, they better be able to back it up. If they can't back it up, they need to be quiet. Player holds their destiny in their hands. They can turn off the game anytime they want. And then that NPC just ceases to exist. Think about that next time in PCs. Think about that. All right. 
We have spent three days in the mines. I hope that I have enough iron now to start making keys. Oh my gosh, why did I jump so far? Because I'm a dork who can't control myself. Okay. Um, what do we, what do we got, what do we got? 10 coal, 38 iron. Hopefully this is enough to start making some keys. Let's just stump teleport. Teleporto. This game is getting a major update soon. I didn't read the post about it, but I saw the little advertisement with like the water people, what looks like water elemental people anyways. Um, I assume there's a new romanceable characters, so it's getting a, a pretty major update, like 1.4, um, in the near future, because they were advertising it. So that'll be really exciting when that comes around. And I will definitely be playing that. Oh, we can just sell that. We don't need to keep it. Okay. Oh, the forge actually finished all my bars. Okay, let's make more. More iron. All right, did that make everything? Yeah, that's all the bars. Okay. Can I make a hoe yet? I need some hoes in my area codes. All right. Yeah, and then we make lots of iron bars so we can start making keys soon. As soon as the bars that we have in there get made. Okay, let's go sell this shit. Hose for all, that's right. Equal opportunity hose. Gonna um, distribute hose to the masses. Run, run, run! Yes, I would like to sleep. Okay. We need to water our crops. I should actually check the farms up here too. Did anybody have stuff planted up here and I've been like totally neglecting it? Yes. Yes, that is the case. Okay, let's uh let's harvest. Can't let my friend's plants die. All right, give me iron hoe. Oh, that's gonna finish the spring bundle. Okay, I have to go do that today too. All right, let's make us some keys. Light travels faster than sound. That's why some people appear bright until you hear them speak. <laughs> oh my God, why is that so true? Why is that so true? Okay. That shimmer root in the museum. The snack coon needs that. I'm gonna need these. Oh, I need to go check on my animals. It's been a few days since I went and petted them. I should be petting them every day, but I'm, I'm not. 
Here, some Ford, it belongs in a museum. It does. All of this stuff belongs in a museum. It does not belong in its native um, land or its native country or anything. It belongs in a museum. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to pet this chicken. Thank you. Okay, now that I have the iron pickaxe, can I do something about these rocks by myself? I think I can. So I actually could, I could clean up. Okay. So that's something we could do. Let's sell this shit. Get in there, get in there, okay. Let's go put the shimmer root in the museum so that we can um, get the finish the spring bundle. So I think that was the only one we needed. So I'm glad I went around and checked the other freaking farms. <laughs> Just so, so neglecting, so neglecting. Oh, that's the library. Wrong place. Museum's up here. Oh, do we have enough stone to fix the bird? Oh, I need it in my, yeah, I do have enough stone, but it has, it has to be in my back. Okay. Has to be in my back. Oh my gosh, you haven't started it before, Dragon? <gasps> we can see what your we can see what your starter is. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got a tepig. Okay. Um, have I earned any rewards? Let's see what you've earned. Yes. Okay, give me community tokens. Okay, just the one. Spring bundle. Yep, it was the last one. Oh no, we still need guapes. We still need guapes. Oh, we're not gonna get grapes until we get farther in Nelvari. Okay. All right, okay. Let's do this today. We will go and get the peppers. Did I put the ones? Yeah, the pepper flakes and nanners for this, uh, for this guy. You know what happens when you step on grapes? They let out a little wine. <laughs> of course they do. Yeah. Of course they do. <clears throat> I think this snack coon up here is the last one for spring. So we're gonna we're gonna fix this situation up. Come here. Apples. We get some nanners and some more pepper flakes. So pepper flakes and, and nanners are things that uh, you have to get from enemies. They drop them. These guys drop the pepper flakes. The pep inch. Yeah, the, 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 they drop food. You know, which is funny. Did we ever do this guy up here? Yeah. Oh, but we didn't open that. Can I go this way? I think I can't. Yeah. Can't go that way. I don't know what's that way. I don't know if that's in the game now or if that's going to be in a future update. Yeah, I got a pepper. These drop hot sauce. And this is why the crossbow is OP. I just shoot from a distance and I never get hit. It's amazing. Hot sauce. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. I see it. I want it. Give me hot sauce for my bag. These guys hurt, by the way. Like if they if they get on you, they can like stun lock you. 
so you don't want to fight them with a sword. I like tanking, so I'm the one getting smacked around. Yeah, but it's harder. I mean, you shouldn't be tanking by yourself, though. Like, if you're tanking, you should have friends. And right now, I'm by myself, so ranged is better. Better solo spec. Monkeys. Drop Dim Dan is. See, the monkeys know. They use ranged attacks too. Gimme Dim Nanas. Where is the wagon wheel guy? Give me all your nanas. Did you drop a nana boy back here? Yes, you did. All right. Um, I got a skill point in combat. Yes. Okay. This is good. Is there more monkeys up here? What's this way? Yay, I drank. Yay, my drink mix is out for delivery. Yay! That sounds delicious. Stopped drinking soda and have not had caffeine in a hot minute, so I ran out of mix and forgot to restock. Yeah, I um I still have caffeine in my coffee. I love coffee, but I don't I haven't drank soda in forever either, and um I think it's good. Like I don't think people should be drinking soda. Like it's just there's just so much bad in it, you know? Because it's not just about the caffeine, it's like the sugar, it's like the artificial colors and flavors. And I just think like it's too it, it that that is just not something that should be in drink form, you know? You should only be getting that stuff in food form. I just don't think our brains and bodies process it right in um in a drink form. Let's run. I wanted that mana tome though, I need it. I need mana. This will give me some more. There we go. Okay, we've got enough nanas. Oh, we've got enough of both. Okay, we can walk back to the snackoon now. I cannot remember where the wagon wheel guy is. He's around here somewhere in this forest. And then you give him his wheel back. Where's our old school Coke with Coke, right? <laughs> then it would be worth it. Then it would be worth it. Because we'd know that it was drugs. Yeah, I can't remember where the wagon wheel guy is. He's around here somewhere. He's probably like on the very next screen or something. Let's see, is he up here? No, this is just a chest. Yeah, drugs. The soda is drugs. Okay. Oh, I need 15. I need 15 peppers. That's a lot of peppers. I forgot. I need four more. Okay. That's not the bit. <laughs> um, I need 15 peppers. I thought I needed 10. I need 15. Give me some peppers. Thank you. I'm just gonna progress one more screen past where I was. Cause like, it's really bothering me that I can't remember where the wagon wheel guy is. All right, got enough of those. Run away. There he is. Okay. Hello, sir.
I think even after you find him a wheel, his wheel, there's like something else you have to find for him too. You mean Cic Cicero from Skyrim? Yes, <laughs> that is Cicero from Skyrim. Um, he traveled to this game. I think it's an iron bar. I think he also needs an iron bar. Now this guy's name is Clive. I found your wheel. Yeah, he needs he needs a, a hub. He needs an iron bar. Okay, Clive, I'll find you an iron bar as well. Since you're so needy, you have neither your wheel nor your hub spike. I understand. I also am constantly misplacing things, so I can't really speak. It's not your fault. Oh, wrong way. Uh, okay, let's go back. And we'll give the snackoon the pepper flakes. Probably, we probably should have done this like so many streams ago. <gasps> so many streams ago, but uh, you know, we didn't. Here you go, Snackoon. Because this is just called Snackoon Plushie. This is just the regular one. I think this is the one the game assumes you're going to do first. But um, but we didn't. And I don't think I don't think I have in any of my saves. I think I've always done that that farmer one above my farm first. But we really should have unlocked it sooner because of what's at the end of this little path. At the end of this little path is like a weekly thing that you can do. But I guess you do need the air skip to get across that one, so maybe you're really not supposed to do this one so early, even though it's the regular snackoon. So there we go, more mana. Yeah, because I don't think you can get across this. Yeah, you can't with, you have to have the double jump. Oh, hey, I don't get to talk to you often. Come here. I never come across him. Hey, Claude. You have a nice view of my farm from your upper story. That's kind of weird. Yes, I do. Thank you for noticing. They are the colors of the, of the plastic Easter eggs. So yes, that's exactly what I did. And these are the same colors too, just in different, and in slightly different order, but same idea. Yes, that's what I did. I almost made them matte, and then I was like, nah, and I just did like the little, the ends at the bottom, a little matte dot there, just for my, for my own little, you can't even see it on camera, but it's for my, my own little stuff. Um, did you want to talk for some reason? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen you around too much. I'm not surprised, I'm usually busy at home, okay. Um, what brings you out today? Okay, that didn't get me any hearts. Um, living alone in a spacious home helps me focus on my work. That sounds great! Ah, there we go. I got a little, tiny little bit of heart with him. Okay, we need an iron bar. And I'm pretty sure you don't need anything else. What's up, warm heart? You need to stop listening so much to my chemical romance. Never. <laughs> I want to join the Black Parade. You should listen to as much my chemical romance as he wants. Why did I come in my house? I don't need that. More that I live all alone and I like it. Yeah, he's like a starving, tortured artist. Lives in his house all by himself. Um, yeah, that's how he is. I think Landon really liked him, but I can't remember exactly. Somebody really liked him. Did 
does any of this need to go in the museum? Oh, we have lots of apples. Holy crap. Oh, this one does. Hot sauce can go there. Oh, we do have a grape. Why do, how do we have grapes? When did we get grapes? We've definitely not done the Novari quest to get grapes. I don't understand how we have grapes. Someone must have gotten them or something. I don't know. One of the one of the other ladies playing with me must have gotten them and I didn't realize. All right, more keys. Three more keys. Okay, and then we need the one iron bar. Um, do we have any more ores? We do not have any more ores. Okay. We're gonna need lots of iron keys because it's not just. It's not just uh, the mines that we use them. There's a bunch of chests around that take iron keys. So we're gonna need to get lots, lots and lots and lots. But let's go, um, let's go give Clive his uh, iron so that he can wheel his cart again. I'm coming, Clive. I come in. It's late, but it's late, but I got you. I got you, foo. I think we can make it. My dyslexic, wow. Ask me, misread Borbuster as something else entirely. What did you read it as? Borbuster? Oh my god, it's so late. But here's your iron bar, dude. Ball buster. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. All right, he's got his wheel now. Can I take you back? Okay, neat. Yes. Okay. Can I? Is he? Yes, he will take me back. Thank God. Just trying to kill the ogres and wow, yeah. <laughs> um, Dragon, are you playing classic or are you playing retail? Like what, what version are you playing? I'm still pretty addicted to Season of Discovery. I'm not going to lie. It's like ruling my life and I love it. Um, okay, we need more iron at this point. We'll have to go back into the mines. Retail at the minute, actually? Oh, sorry. Can't relate. I love you, but... <laughs> you better be playing Horde at least. I was going to play on Moonguard and do some RP stuff, but friend talked me into Area 52 Horde. Good. Your friend's a good person. They were looking out for you. I'm glad to, I'm glad you have such a, a good friend. The Lunar Festival is tomorrow. Okay, so we shouldn't go back to Nelvari. We should just wait. I think we should just wait to finish Nelvari. Because I definitely don't want to miss that Lunar Festival. That's going to be nice. Is there anything else to even still make with the copper? I don't know. Maybe it'll come in handy at another time. I forgot how to join you in the game. Oh, Lunar, just open the game and then I invite you through Steam. That's all you do. Like I think, um, 
Mm, yeah, if I go into the, the thing... Okay. I invited you. And then if you want to voice chat, the Zoom link is in the Discord. You know where to find that. My Pisa's here. Oh, thank you. Whoa. You guys, look at this gigantic pizza. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what is this? It's on two plates. It's on two plates. What the, what the heck? <laughs> I do love my Blood Elf Paladin best good because the Blood Elves are the best. My character that I played the most was, um, my character that I played the most was a Blood Elf Warlock. He was the best. What kind of za is it? It looks like it's mushroom. Oh, it's garlic mushroom. It's garlic mushroom. No, garlic mushroom's perfect. Apparently we have a pepperoni in there too. Look at Lunar, look at Lunar, the cute little wolf girl. But orc gals are the best eye candy, can't disagree. Can't disagree. I, I have to tell you though, if I'm not playing Blood Elf, I'm a gutter girly. I love the undead. I love them and their emaciated selves. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's what I love to play. Um, my, uh, and, and I have, but the main that I'm playing right now is a, a druid, a feral druid on Season of Discovery. Um, but since they're a druid, of course, Torin is my only choice. I don't get a choice, you know? So yeah. Look at that. Look at the cute little fangy she's got. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, I don't know how to eat this pizza, you guys. How do I bite it? I, it's so big. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I heard Sod's pretty good, but I wanted to get ready for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bite the crust like a mad woman. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Let me bust this rock open, and I'll, and I'll do it. I'll do it for you, dragon. Okay, look, okay, I don't, how do I even hold this? It's, it's gigantic. Okay, wait, I do it like this, here. The crust is actually pretty good. You should totally take a walk, dragon. We're, um, I'm gonna take a break in about 20 minutes to stretch, probably like 15 minutes, and they'll come back and do more Sunhaven, but we should take a walk too. We need to clean up this farm. It's so disgusting with all these rocks and stuff everywhere. We've never, not really been able to do much about them because you can only um, get them when you're in a group. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually bite the end of the pizza. Okay, let's pick it up with this plate then. Okay, oh my God. Okay, we'll do it like this for the end, this plate. That's good ass pizza. That's good ass pizza. You only need one piece. You only need one slice. It's actually really good. Like, it's the garlic is like really good, and it's like really cheesy. Um, and the sauce isn't too sweet or anything. It's like delicious. There's a local place that makes bomb ass honey garlic Alfredo. Honey garlic Alfredo. That sounds amazing. Lunar? Lunar, are you on the Zoom? I think so. I hope so. <gasps> yes, you are. You are. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Very well. Oh, good. I messed up my sleeping schedule, so that's oh. always fun. Oh, no. Is that because you've had, you had the extra day off? Because you had a three-day weekend this week, right? Yes. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I decided yeah, that to, makes sense. I decided to stay up 
until three o'clock in the morning because I started watching the Aaron's tour again at three at midnight. So three and a half hours long. Oh my god! <laughs> and you stuck all the way through it. You didn't fall asleep. Of course not. You're more slip. powerful yeah. than me. <laughs> I would so fall asleep. Yeah, it's Taylor Swift. If I fell asleep, then I would have to turn in my Swifty card. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot stay up to save my life anymore. How do you do it? I don't know. Because <laughs> I did come home, like, after watching babies all day long and taking yeah. a walk and exercising to do that. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my gosh. By the way, you guys, this is Lunar that's in the chat, um, that's in the Zoom now. Um, she's in the chat very frequently. She She's in the streams and lurks a lot. We love her so much. That So that shout out is for her. If you um, like uh, Taylor Swift, if you like pizza, if you like wolves, you should follow Lunar. She is the top um, Wolf Quest streamer in, on, um, on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's true i know that's like such a niche game but like you literally are i love that game it's so much fun and she's always got like an active chat when she plays that too so it's like really funny and it's a simulation kind of game so it's like bonkers anything can happen i'm developing a new fragrance for introverts it's called leave me the fuck cologne <laughs> <laughs> So Lunar, what what level is your is your stuff in this game? Like, uh, I played a little character? bit last night after stream to level up everything. Okay. Um, I didn't play for very long, but let me see. Because like we have iron, we have some iron. I made a lot of it into keys, but you might want to look and see if like you can if you can upgrade your tools and stuff. Or maybe we need to go get some more iron so you can do that. My ex. Exploration is at level four, farming is at level five, mining is two, combat is one, and fishing is zero. One. Okay. Okay. Well, never mind. We shouldn't get you new tools yet because you won't be able to use them. We should just get you more levels. So you can just do do anything to get levels, I think, right now is probably the best. Because the tools are, like, gated behind the certain levels. Oh, Okay. So even if we upgraded your tools, it would t give you error messages that you couldn't use them. Rude. I know, right? <laughs> I wish it would let you, but no. Because I've done that. I've grabbed a tool like way too early. So Lunar, I have a question for you. I know I know that you work with babies, but I also know like some of your colleagues probably work with older kids and stuff like that. And I, so I have a question for, for the people that, that interact with the youths. Um, I heard on TikTok that eyeshadow is for old ladies and I don't understand, like do, do teenagers not wear eyeshadow anymore? Like because I want my eyelids to look like I'm blushing, am I, am I old? Is that a thing? Do you know? Who said they're for old ladies? I don't. I just saw on TikTok that like the kids are not doing like eyeshadow anymore. And if some, if you wear, if they wear eyeshadow, like they say, like oh, that's some, like a millennial thing. That's something for older people. Like kids don't wear that. Have you heard this? No, that's rude. That well, I mean, it's TikTok, so of course it's rude. But I didn't know. Like maybe I was like, well, maybe the kids really aren't wearing eyeshadow anymore. Uh, as far as I know, they are. That's I know that I like thought. little little kids are still. I know when I went to an urgent care, <laughs> I didn't ask a um a uh, fourteen year old if she had a parent there because I thought she was in her twenties. And then I didn't. And then I asked a twenty year old if they had a parent guardian because I thought she was twelve. Oh my god! You can never tell, right? I feel like <laughs> it's getting even harder to tell because like so many um that were our like vision is so warped. By like filters and things like that like in real life i don't know i find it really hard to tell sometimes yes yeah, so i just made it a rule to ask everybody because i could have sworn the person that i didn't ask was um in her 20s nope she was 14. oh my like, god oh, okay 
Yeah, they trick you nowadays. It's so funny, I think they can't tell either because every once in a while we get um, interns at work and usually the interns will be like, you know, in college, that age, whatever, right? And, um, and they don't realize that most of us are not in our 20s anymore. <laughs> oh, like no. they, they don't they don't realize because like we don't look that different, I feel like. All right, Dragon, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming and hanging out. And have a good dinner. Let's see. So we have our first holiday in the game tomorrow, Lunar, but I don't really, I don't really remember exactly how these work, but, um, but I know like when the holiday ends, like it ends your whole day. So I don't know if we can do stuff before we go to the holiday area or exactly how that works. I don't, I haven't really figured, played enough of the game to fully figure that out. So we'll see. Sounds good to me. Yep. But I do know for the Lunar Festival, there's a dragon pet that we're going to have to buy for the farm so we can have him here too. I would join right before the lunar event. Yes. It's for you. <laughs> it's the lunar festival. For lunars. I'll still be around. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we're going to break in a little bit too. I'll eat the rest of my pizza and, um, and take a little walk myself. And then we'll be back and do more Sunhaven. Cause I, cause I, I am an old lady in some ways that I can't just sit for hours and hours and hours. I do have to get up or it hurts. Hey, Zoo. Oh my gosh. Hello. How are you doing? Zoo, how excited are you for um, phase three? Uh, I'm kind of excited. Like I'm trying to get hype, but honestly, phase two is too short. And so like, I feel like a little bit of, um, I wish I would have had maybe three or four more weeks in phase two, you know? Lunar, have you ever played any MMOs? I don't, you, you're you not really an MMO player, are you? Uh, what is, what is an MMO? Oh, like uh, World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy uh, 14 or something like that. One time. One time? It, it crashed my computer. Oh, <laughs> well. Yeah, they usually are very large games. That's true. What did you try to play? I think it was WoW. Oh. It was when I was in college. My um, my best friend's boyfriend at the time was spending a lot of time on WoW. So the only time she could spend time with him was if she also played WoW. So she wanted me to play WoW. Ah. Uh. And there was some like really big wolf in the game. Okay. And yes. I wanted that, and I never got it because it crashed. It crashed my game. Oh, yeah, the orcs get wolf mounts. So, yes, that's true. They're actually now, this wasn't there at the time that you would have been playing, but now there's literally a werewolf race that you can play. So, you can literally turn into a wolf and stuff. There's a, um, there's a skin on Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite, but my, one of the streamers I watch plays Fortnite. And um, there's a wolf skin, like a werewolf skin, and I really want it, but I don't play. I don't, I don't play Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, the would, pain. Just for that skin. That's so funny. I could see I could see you being like, okay, I got the skin. I'm done with this game now. Yep. <laughs> I don't need yep. to play it anymore. I would do it. <laughs> I was trying to mop the house just now, so I put my cat upstairs in a room with all her toys and whatnot, then blocked the kitty door. But of course she escaped. Of course she did. Um, I'm so happy to hear that you're somebody with inside kitty doors. We are also somebody with inside kitty doors. Um, we do that too. Like if the cats are allowed in a room, we have a cat door on like the inside door. Um, it's very helpful. Like we, I've never had that in a house before, but when we got this house, we said we wanted to do it. And it's been so much better than trying to like keep doors cracked or whatever. Um, so we can fully close the door, but the cats don't get outside of the door and be like, meow, meow, you know? My apartment has barn style doors for everything. They can open them. Of course they can. <laughs> uh, I've seen cats also be able to figure out like um, the, you know, the doorknobs that are more like a handle. Like I've seen cats be able to open those before too. Can your dog open any doors, Lunar? Dogs are taller, so I feel like some dogs can do it. She can open the gate. The gate? Oh, okay. But she you can't open door to. doors. 
No, she learned how to flip her nose up and flip open the latch and then she'll just walk right out. Wow. <laughs> and then she'll uh, kind of look at you like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're not going to do anything. She's right. Yeah. She's a little sassy diva. <laughs> I love your doggy though. I need to bring back Cadence Cam on stream because I people used to redeem that to see what she was doing. Yes, yes, you totally should. And it would it would match so well when you play Wolf Quest too. <laughs> yes, uh, I've actually played Wolf Quest one time when she was in the room off stream, and the wolves were growling and howling. Uh, she got up and left my room. <gasps> she was scared off by the wolf noises. Yeah, I was like, oh no. Oh my gosh. I don't have one on my room, but my roommate has it on her door. The cat Mona loves deep plastic bags, so I'm worried there'll be little hidden plastic in my room I forgot about. Probably. Probably. I mean, plastic is delicious, so I get it. <laughs> VI gets stressed out when Mona gets mop water on her paws, but here we are, yeah. Um, we actually recently got a, um, a Roomba that mops. Um, I don't know if I recommend it. It actually doesn't work that well, like as a Roomba, but the mopping function is really cool. Um, and so it will like mop the floors and because it's like doing it as a robot, it like, it can do like a really thin, thin layer so that it's, um, so that the floors dry really fast, uh, which I think is like really nice. Um, I meant to get put a oh I meant to go to the museum today. Oops. Uh this can go in there. This can go in there. Actually this should all, yeah. Okay. Hello Koneko. Oh my gosh, how are you doing today? Yes, I would like to sleep. Oh, you were already asleep, Lunar. Yeah, I was, I was staying up. All the stuff. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to worry about my cat 99% of the time. She's up my butt. She's a sphinx baby. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got the watering ghost. Such dry dirt. That won't do. Let these sprouts a drink of water. This is so cute. I love it. And we got some ghost pepper seeds from him. Thank you, watering ghost. I'm doing great. Just got back from the horsies. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, well, we are actually going to take a little break. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and end the game so we don't lose any time. So, um, let's fit, flip back to the camera. Okay. If anybody is watching the, oh, this way, there we go. If anybody's watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and, uh, you should come join us live on Twitch because it's super fun. And, uh, and give me a follow, give Lunar a follow as well on there. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.